The former Kaduna Central Senatorial Aspirant of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Usman Gabe, has called on all Nigerian youths to avoid money politics and shun political thuggery in order to participate fully in politics at all levels ahead of the 2023 general elections. He noted that the youths are frontliners in championing the political affairs of the government in the 21st century. Plus TV correspondent Abila Darifa filed in this report. It's presented from our studios. Few months to the general elections, Nigerian youth are taking a new dimension to change the existing political narratives by looking for credible and competent candidates. Speaking in an interview in Kaduna, the senatorial aspirant encouraged youth to desist from anything that is capable of injuring them from taking over power from the old leaders who have been ruling the country without any tangible results. He stressed the need for youth to get their permanent voters' cards. What we are calling, or what we are trying to enlighten the youth and orient them, is that they should try as much as possible to drop the idea or the notion of quick money syndrome. Because there are some youths that have been tried, but due to that orientation of quick money syndrome, they want to be rich at the early stage, it makes the old timers to have a reference that even if they allow the youth to, do, determine, to dominate the political scene, they are not matured enough to do so. He lamented that the old politicians are not ready to leave power, but rather using money to change the idea of the youths. These people are you just using you as a tool. Once the election is over, you will never see them again. And they will never fulfill their promise. And in the course of uh, perpetuating those vices, you find that some of you may even lose their life. Some will be permanently deformed. If you see them, you will be even pity them. So in Kaduna State, we are able to control it to the barest minimum. He commended Kaduna State Youth for being violence-free in all the primary elections, while calling on INEC, political parties, and politicians to ensure a free, fair, and violence-free elections come 2023. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.